What is up, YouTube? Hello. Uh, another reaction video, this time to Ken Dodd. Um, incidentally, did you know uh, Ken Dodd's dad's dog's dead? Um, actually, Ken Dodd's dead. Uh, this is a uh, great, uh, very old one, 1975 Seaside Special with Ken Dodd. Uh, so let's just, um, we're going to dive right in in a second, uh, but look out for um, terribly overlong opening sequence, um, which I've cut down a bit, and uh, also look out for the audience members' uh, terrible glasses, uh, teeth, uh, and the general sort of agedness of the audience who all look like they're uh, rapidly approaching retirement. Uh, some signs of the times, I guess. Uh, so let's uh, literally dive right in. Gentlemen, uh, I like you now to meet a young man that I have recently discovered, and I think that with the wind in the right direction and a little bit of luck, he might yet become a star. Ken Dot. Chuck it. First of all, <coughs> by George Parky, up tonight, isn't it? First. Of all, First of all, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> my Lord Mayor, Lady Mares, uh, aren't you speaking? Uh, first of all, folks, I'd like to say how tickled I am here in my hurry furry coat. Do you like me, Mrs? Hurry furry. Genuine moggy skin, this look. Moggy skin. Pussycats. It took 28 moggies to make this. <laughs> all Toms. By <laughs> Jove, it's full of life, this coat. Pants made of the same stuff. Moggy skin, long johns. When I walk down our street, people say, ah, hairy comms. Ah, hairy comms. Did you get it? You don't want it? Oh, all right. Uh, no, actually, ladies and gentlemen, I usually wish you, whenever, whenever I do a posh do like this, uh, whenever I do a, a ladies' Masonic, they, they always, 
Have we had the master song yet? They always supply me with, with a, a, a butler, a dresser, a dresser, to put me in my tights with a warm spoon. But, um, <laughs> not arrived, so I wonder what it... Knockers! Knockers! No, not you, Mr. No, no. Ah, oh, this is Knockers, ladies and gentlemen. This is my butler. Knockers. Hello, dear. Your engine running. Knockers, I'd like you to. Uh, you look very well. You've been breathing again, haven't you? Yes, try and do it every other day if you can now. Knockers, I want you to do a little, little favour. I'd like you to take this uh, suit down to the. Take him for a run round the block. He hasn't been today. Oh, <coughs> and don't forget the ball and bat. There's a special name for these sort of hats, you know, Knockers? There's a special. Yes, you're ad living again. You'll get no more money. There's a special. <laughs> special name for the sort of fellow who wears them. Oh, fantastic. Come here, come here, man. Lovely. You look as though you just fell off the magic roundabout. Knockers! <laughs> This is what all the kids like. See, this is all the go now. This is the gear. All the children, they like to see the baggy suits and the baggy pants and kicking each other up the... Uh, it reminds them of home. And that's why I think... You better take this as well. Huh? There, I'll take the goat. This is the full works. That's here. Yeah, hi, Joe. There, honestly. Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> that's... That's surprised you, didn't you, Mrs? Hey? You thought you were going to see the main feature a bit earlier, didn't you, love? <laughs> I, oh, by the way, a police message. Here is a police message. Will all those people who took the M6 motorway please put it back because other people want to use it? <laughs> I, I saved, actually, this afternoon at Blackpool, I saved a life on the beach. I decided not to go swimming. And I, <laughs> I had a marvelous time on the beach at Blackpool. I didn't really, I was, you know, just guessing which were the water wings and which weren't. And this. <laughs> What a marvellous place it is, ladies and gentlemen, Blackpool, where everybody's so friendly. Even the tram drivers give you a cheery wave as they knock the legs from under you. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I remember, I always remember coming to Blackpool. I remember the first time, I remember the first time I came to Blackpool and the first time seeing Reginald Dixon and his mighty Wurlitzer coming up, you know, out of the floor. Frighten the light. I was in the bath at the time. <laughs> My great granddad, my great granddad, Arbuthnot Dodd, he built Blackpool Tower. He got a Meccano set for Christmas and it got a bit out of hand. And <laughs> this set, and sun worshippers, this is where everybody comes to Blackpool for the sunshine. You get more sunshine here. Mind you, have to remember to put antifreeze in your suntan lotion. But Blackpool is famous. The Blackpool Beach is famous for the ozone. You know what ozone is? That's when the water, you know when you're paddling, you know you're paddling in the water and, and, and you sort of, it comes up to about there. And then all of a sudden, one of those very cold waves comes along. And you go, ho, 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 ho. Well, that's the ozone. And you see. You have to be very careful. <laughs> you have to be very careful when you're sunbathing, because you can get sunburn. My little granddad, my little ditty granddad, he got excruciating sunburn in a very, very sensitive spot. <laughs> Mind you, his own fault for leaving his magnifying glass in his trouser pocket. But this... <laughs> I've got it. No. How do you get a round of applause for that? Oh, you love it. Right, you might. Can you tour with us? Uh, <laughs> lock the doors. Don't let us lock it away. Uh, I once got sunstroke and it made me delirious. I went in a pub and ordered drinks all round. <laughs> My auntie Nelly, you know me big, you know me big auntie Nelly. She's married to my little uncle Willie. He, he has to kneel up in bed to see if it's breaking daylight. Well, she, <laughs> my big auntie Nelly, she was sunbathing, sunbathing on the beach at Blackpool last week. The man from the corporation came down. He said he'll have to shift, Mrs. The tide's waiting to come in. And, <laughs> so she did. She moved. She moved, and three fishing trawlers were beached in the Isle of Man. This. <laughs> The finest thing not to wear on the beach, little thing, a kilt. That's what you should wear. A kilt is the only thing to wear in the summertime because it allows your jockey trunks to breathe. You see, and <laughs> Jesus, this is, this is the greatest place. The most. This is the most romantic place we have. Blackpool is the most romantic place in the British Isles. They've got everything here: discotheques, nightclubs. Some of them stay open until about twenty-five past nine. And <laughs> what do you think? The other night, there were two little dogs, two little puppy dogs, standing outside a discotheque, looking in through the window, top of the pops. One little dog said, look at that. He said, when I do that, they give me a worm capsule. <laughs> this is where all Crumbly. the rogues are in Blackpool. This is where all the, where all the great lovers are. 
You've never lived till you've been serenaded underneath your boarding house window by a Yates's Wine Lodge tenor. <laughs> Did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Or was she crying? I don't know. <laughs> the first meeting, the first meeting when you plight your troth. You meet her on this bench on the promenade and you're sitting there and you think to yourself, I wonder who this, this bird is next to me with this, this, you know, frizzy, mod, pink hairdo. And you suddenly realise your candy floss blown up a stick. <laughs> Oh. oh, perhaps it's in the tower ballroom. The tower ballroom, as she glides across the floor with her legs up in the air when she catches her high heels in your turnips doing the okie cookie. Oh. <laughs> then you take her, after your first meeting, you take her for a paddle, a moonlight paddle, and suddenly it confirms all your first impressions. They are navy blue. <laughs> they... And you, 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 you try, you know, you try to book a speck under the pier and you have to queue up. Because right? that's where it's all got, that's where all the romance is in Blackpool. Under the pier, under the central pier at midnight. Oh, you are strong. <laughs> is your brother really Gary Glitter? Gary Glitter? Does he hurt to have a tattoo on there? <laughs> oh, those muscles and the cockles, they're nice as well. Oh, that sand gets everywhere. <laughs> you will write to me, won't you? And I'll write to you. Or me dad will. <laughs> Thank you. Boy! Blainhard's marvellous. Blainhard really is marvellous too. To come, to come back home to Blackpool, because really it has been, Blackpool's been so good to me, and, because they all come to Blackpool, you know, everyone, Frank Sinatra, and I tell you, do you know who always comes to Blackpool for the holidays? The Diddy Men. Would you believe that? The Diddy Men on holiday. No. What's the great occasion? What's the great event? From all around you'll hear the sound of Diddy Merriment. The footy mines are closing, the moggy ranch is shut, and every little diddy man is doing his flipping nut. Cause it's off we go where the balmy breezes blow. We're going on a diddy holiday with our swimming things and our diddy water wings. We're going on a diddy holiday. Far and near you I don't understand why this was ever entertaining. Even in 1906 or 1840, children dressed as little fat people. Why? It's got to be something to do with Gary Glitter, I guess. the biggest show town in the world it's the biggest everything in the world so it's only fitting at the end of the show we should have the biggest beef burger in the whole world here is the biggest beef burger in the it's six feet in circumference ladies and gentlemen it weighs 400 weight 400 weight the biggest the world's biggest beef burger and there's enough here for everyone in Blackpool this weekend to have a little nibble so no you know what I mean no in Chef, are you there? All the chefs? Are the girls here? Let's go then. Let's give everybody a little piece of Blackpool, Blackpool's world's biggest beef burger. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go.
Can you imagine that in 2019? A giant beef burger being the finish of the show. So it's quite hard to understand. 1975. Uh, I was four years old. Uh, I didn't understand much back then. Uh, but again, uh, I've said this in a, a, a similar video to this. I think the one about Freddie Starr that back then it was family entertainment. So the children and the parents and the grandparents probably all had to laugh at the same thing. So it was sort of lowest common denominator. Now we've got adult humour, we've got teenage humour, we've got 20 something humour, 30 something humour, uh, five year old humour, 12 year old humour. It's all sort of split up and there's lots of it. Of course in those days probably one or two channels in 1975. So everybody was watching this. So, you know, has to appeal to everyone. Beef burger lovers, children, uh, adults, uh, nan and granddad. So I guess in that sense, it makes sense. Um, it's appealing to everybody and sort of nobody. So uh, yeah, comment below if you've got any uh, anything to say about that, but uh, see you next time. Thank you. Ken Dodd's dad's dog's dead.